Plantar fasciitis is an extremely common cause of heel pain and can be quite distressing to the patient. Underlying causes such as footwear, art support and body weight should be addressed. If conservative measures are inadequate, including courses of anti-inflammatories, then injections should be offered. These can be quite uncomfortable to the patient but have the potential to provide great relief. I will do a demonstration of the surface anatomy and then demonstrate the injection procedure. The plantar fascia inserts onto the medial calcaneal tuberosity. This usually corresponds to the point of maximal tenderness. Injection is directed towards the middle of the heel using a medial approach. One should avoid going through the heel itself. This is excruciatingly painful and can also lead to heel pad atrophy. The point of injection is about one finger breadth above the sole of the foot and in a line that corresponds to the posterior border of the medial malleolus. Using a retractable pen, mark the point for injection. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Here I am using Providin and following this with isopropyl alcohol. Using a 22 gauge 5 8 inch needle, apply local anesthetic to the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Here I have a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle and a mixture of 30 mg of depometrol and 2% xylocaine made to a volume of 2 ml. Advance the needle laterally to the middle of the foot to a depth of about 2 to 3 cm and infiltrate the mixture. A fanning technique can be used to distribute the medication anteriorly and posteriorly. Dry the area and apply a bandage. The patient should wait a few minutes before weight bearing and should be advised that pain can be worse for a few hours after the local anesthetic wears off.